My question is, since when did we start negotiation with terrorists? When? Why is the Taliban making all these demands and the U.S. is complying? When we say the U.S., we are truly the divided states of America, no doubt about it, because I want everybody out there on the world scene to understand, comprehend, and know that the majority of the Americans, regardless of who they, the powers that be, have put in office, we don't agree with this mess and nonsense in any way, shape, fashion, or form. Joe Biden ain't my president. He may be everybody else's president. He may be president of the United States Corporation. You know what I mean? The corporation. But he damn sure ain't uh, the private citizen's president. There's no way in hell we would elect a buffoon like that. A dementive, dementia, a cognitive, don't know where he's coming or going, hiding in the basement, hiding out at Camp David, president. We wouldn't do that. What's sad about the whole thing is, what's really sad about it, I think it burns a lot of veterans, regardless on what side of the political aisle you're on, is that Americans are over there, and we're gonna find out later on, we will find out later on how many has been murdered you know, at the hands of these terrorists. We're gonna find that out because it has happened. But um, I, I tell you, first of all, we gotta understand, for most of you who haven't been watching my videos and know anything about the history of these particular people. Um, Genghis Khan couldn't beat them. The Russians couldn't beat them. Britain couldn't beat them. And now America couldn't beat them. These people make sure that they crush empires by stalemate or either empires lose. Nobody's beat them. But I think what's upsetting more than anything is that while we are constantly faced with legislation over here in this country, over if private citizens gun rights, Second Amendment, Constitution, the whole nine yards, always the Democrats after. And then Joe Biden or the Biden administration just got finished regulating 7.62s from Russia, stating that they can't come in. Every time you turn around, there's something that has to do with gun rights and freedoms. And of course, nobody ever wants the guns until somebody comes to your front door and wants your ass. But what's upsetting about all this is, is that this administration, this Democratic Biden administration, armed the terrorists. They literally armed the terrorists with some of our sophisticated, up-to-date weapons. I seen, so since when did the Taliban have a special forces? Well, I guess they special, uh, especially since they now have nods, uh, breastplates, AR-15s, with night vision, thermal vision, uh, Kevlar's, man, LBEs to the guilt, magazines, all kinds of ammo that we left them. And guess who paid for it? America did. Taxpayers dollars. We freely, that's the biggest arms deal in the world and it all came free. You ask me, I think there's something more than what meets the eye. You really truly do. You can talk about conspiracy all you want and everything else, but I think America is slated for destruction and sellout. Especially when you look at people like the Biden administration that's done come into office, it's all but clear. The writing on the wall is extremely clear that whoever it is and whatever it is and whatever entity it is, America is slated to be sold out. It is fitted for destruction. The empire is just about had its ran. And I tell you, it makes you wonder who in the world today can say anything good about it. I mean, the Biden administration from an unsecured board to a vice president, downtown Willie Brown, sleeping away to the Oval Office, to high taxes, constantly on the rise, inflation off the chain, gas up over $1.50, Keystone pipeline shut down, but then we all, all but give the Russians a pipeline. And I tell you, you keep on going, and then you can't even make up your damn mind what the hell to do about this damn pandemic, 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 or whatever the hell you want to call it. It's all confusion. Every bit of it is. Now the FDA is going to come out and say, hey, we give approval. Hey, that's up to eight. I wonder if there's going to be any lawsuits if anybody ever, you know, gets hurt from any of this. I can't tell you how many Americans over there right now that probably would I just, who would ever thought people hanging from airplanes 
getting run over by those big old wheels. Skydiving without a chute. Only on the Biden administration, I tell you. And then you look at these, these soft dweebs that they parade up in front of the cameras. It's supposed to be the defense secretary. It's supposed to be uh, the people that's national security advisor and stuff. These boogers don't look like, man, they look like, what, did they, what rock did they call out front? We need men, men, emboldened, war-hardened men, not chicken hawks. We don't need presidents that ran away from war when they had their time to serve. And then they turn around and not later on, they won't come back like they're hawks and stuff. We need men, M-E-N. Tell y'all, America is impotent. But man, we left literally on the terrorists and we did it for free at taxpayers' dollars.